Morning guys, welcome back to the cave. It's been a few weeks since I've done a video. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do another string pull effect. Not the usual leaf one, this is something else that I've not long found out about so I thought I'd give it a go. It's going to be a wall hanging, it's around about 9.5 inches in diameter and I'm doing a leaf effect. I'll be using the Joe Sonia iridescent paints again. Now I've already turned the piece and I've already put a, a base colour, well an ebonising lacquer on. So the video is going to be about how I do the, the string pull. Um, I'll let it run. I'll get some photographs up at the end of the video because I know some of you don't have um, or don't go on Facebook. Uh, or Instagram so I'll get some photographs up at the end of the video um, I hope you like it give a thumbs up if you do uh, share it with uh, friends relatives whoever um, and hopefully I'm gonna try and get another video out this weekend just before Christmas I've got a couple of ideas for doing some boxes um, so keep an eye open for them as well um, I've lost my remote so, hopefully I'll see you soon, um, take care, have a good Christmas, have a happy new year, um, I hope you get everything that you want, and I'll see you soon, bye for now. Right, so what I've got here... Down here, I've got some Joe Sonia iridescent paints. I've already turned um, the wall hanging um, and covered it with ebonizing lacquer. So I've got three colours here. I've got violet, gold and green going all the way down. I'm just going to get a piece of string and get that covered. in the paint so this is going to be different from the string pull that I usually do doing the the leaf type effect I'm hoping to get a, a feather effect from this Place that gently on like that, but nicely straight down. And then what we're going to do is just take this end and gently pull it round like this. get some more paint on what I'm wanting to do is get it right down the center like that, where it goes. And just bring that down. turn it round, pop that right down the centre and just bring that all the way down to make the quill. Now I've got a couple of other ones here just with some shorter string.
just topping the, the paint up a wee bit and again And there we are, that's the the feather effect using a string pull. Nice little wall hanging there. I'll let that dry. I'll get it sprayed with some gloss lacquer. Um